so today is June 16th and I got this big old package in the mail and I know pretty well what this is so let's uh, get my pencil sharpener knife and cut it open here here beautifully done dude I don't know how to cut open a box clearly cut more please work it's not like I've never had an unboxing on this channel before I found the opening of the box nice box oh crap oh okay so I think now is a good time for some background information. Somehow won another giveaway from Cardvolution this time, and it's actually 11 decks of cards in here. First, I got some nice stickers. Panda doing a spring. Skilled Panda right there. Then we got a Cardvolution card, and I like this custom pip up here. So this was a giveaway for 11 decks produced by Dan and Dave. I forgot what cards were involved, so it's about time I see. <laughs> Try not to drop it. Nope, we got more cards. Getting into another box. This is a Dan and Dave, whoops. This is a Dan and Dave though, brick box. I gotta rip this up. Okay, this is actually really cool. Um, if I can get it out. Take that. So first, we got a signed brick box. Almost a brick box. I think it's only 11 when a brick is 12, but you know, it's close enough for me for me to call it a brick because it's a big box, it's a brick. It's signed by, I think, Dan and Dave I or somebody else, but it's also in a clear plastic case, the brick boxes. So that is cool. Um, I only have one other like brick box and it's the Theory 11 box back there, but it's just, Real cool. Have to hold on to that after I throw it on the floor. That's a nice looking selection. Okay, so we're gonna go through each deck one by one. So the first one we got, Yellow Fulton Chinatown playing cards. It's really nice, cool yellow looking deck, like the dragons and stuff. But we also have the yellow, ver or that was the yellow version. Um, we have the red version. We have Magic Con 2014 cards. This next deck I was really looking forward to, it's the Smoke and Mirrors V6 decks. My first Smoke and Mirrors because I am broke and I can't afford $40 decks. So that's really cool. I'll actually have to open this one up for sure in this video, especially since, you know, it goes with the brick box. We'll look at that in a second. Next up, we've got B Club Special Erdenays. It's quite an interesting deck. We have Lee Asher Fournier. Fournier. I probably butchered that name. We have deck one. It's a really cool, like, industrial looking deck, like steampunk kind of, but deck one. We've got Fantastique playing cards. I don't know why I said it like that, but I, I said it like that. It's quite a background, or back design, sorry. And we got another one, but this one looks like it's signed. We've got 999 Steamboat. Be like back design, but what looks like flowers instead. And finally, we got new fan bag bicycle cards. I'm filming. 12 seconds later. Okay, so let's see these cards up close. All right, up first, Smoke and Si- uh, what did I just say? The Smoke and Mirrors V6, and that was terrible. Beautiful looking box. Quite thick borders, my goodness. Darker reds, custom faces. Real quick, cardistry, quite soft already. That's very good. All right, handle great out of the box. Good ferro from that direction. Really good for classic day and day flourishes. We'll do prequel, which mine was quite sloppy. But yeah, that's Smoke and Mirrors V6. On to the next deck. 
Here's the Magic Con 2014. Oh crap, I, I, I ruined the box. My bad. Star on the flap. Basically just three colored blue, more vibrant, orangey, bigger, enlarged ace pits. Got a double back here and a blank card, of course, because this is a Magic Con deck. You have to have such essentials. Oh, that is not what I expected the back design to be. Not my favorite design, but the handle is really nice, though. Feels like the Smoke and Mirrors V6. Wow. Very exaggerated. Vibrant looking. These are cool kind of jokers. Nice looking ace of spades. The reds are also more vibrant. Deck one, industrial edition. Also no pull tab. So, um, this design is a lot harder to see on camera because it's all dark. Deck one, industrial edition. There's no gap for a flap here. Three dots. The deck is falling out in clumps. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, that is not what I expected the back to look like at all. Thick borders coming off in clumps. It's a nice cool looking joker. Kind of looks like a pencil smudge, you know? Nice ace, not entirely my favorite. That reminds me of the Star Wars. Oh, it's produced by Theory 11 in a double backer. I mean, it feels the same. It's just clumpy out of the box for some reason, or maybe it's just mine. Not too bad. Not my favorite though, so far. Fornia. Made in Spain. And just ripped it open. All right, first deck to have a seal. Kind of reminds me of a rug. Since 1868, the deck wrapped in cellophane. How thoughtful. And we have a pull tab right here on the cards. Haven't had that satisfying thing this entire unboxing. Okay, these cards don't handle too well. <laughs> um, are these plastic coated? They feel plastic coated. Identical jokers? Alright, so we got like the older pips. Yep, they're plastic coated. Bit stiffer, not near as broken in. Not too bad. Steamboat. Flowers kind of back design. Blue seal, but printed in Erlanger, Kentucky. Oh crap, I ruined the flap again. Okay, that's an issue when you don't have a pull tab. That was dumb. I'm not even sure what happened there. Alright, these cards are not white. So, we got a Joker. Got a blank Dan and Dave card, and we got another Dan and Dave card promoting their social media platforms. Borderless, quite nice. Smooth, finished. pull tab but it somewhat worked next we're at the card table sw urnays two hands performing slides it's a nice drawing kind of joker identical jokers classic v ace you can see the clumps all right though these handle pretty well. Big pips in these smaller numbers. Different kind of font. Ask Alexander. It's interesting. These handle better than the last few. Nice cool deck though. Bicycle fan back. Chinese kind of fan or one of those like holding fans. And then you got the bike, of course. Classic bicycle joker. This is Bades, Dan Dave cards. Basically standard bicycle. Actually a little bit softer than normal bicycle. 
here's the yellow one. I'm not actually going to open this one up, but here's the box of the yellow one. I would assume it's basically the same as the other one, just black instead of gold and yellow instead of red. So finally, the last two decks right here. One is signed, one is not. I will keep the signed one and I'm actually going to open it up so that I can give away the other Fantastic in a future giveaway if you guys would want that. Not a pool tab, but you know it somewhat worked. No, it didn't. Never mind. Try not to step on any of my other cards on the floor. But, uh, there we go. Alright, we got these two interesting jokers. Cool Ace of Spades as well. Blank card. Clearly, red pips are actually silverish gray. We got three color, a little bit metallic. Basically everything else is bicycle standard though. Back design. Just like the other Dan Dead cards that don't have like the special coating. The handle is good. So yeah, that's all. Wait, how many decks is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 10. So yeah, that's all 11 decks. Thank you, Carvolution. And um, so yeah, that's all 11 decks. Hopefully this unboxing isn't too long. Let's go on to the outro after I do my closer. Okay. All right, big shout out to, of course, Carvolution and I guess Dan and Dave for all the decks. Be sure to Follow Cardvolution, and if you want to, you can follow me on Instagram. I will be giving away a deck of cards once I reach 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, and hopefully, I'll see you next time. Hopefully, this unboxing wasn't too boring. I'm still rambling. Um, bye bye.